Hi there. Now we have come to the point where we are considering the concept concepts of risk and uncertainty again. And let's look a little bit uh, behind the theorizing of uh, them, these two concepts. Well, um, Knight 1921 um, defined risk that it is a priori, it is known probability. So, for example, casting a dice uh, results for two uh, possible outcomes, so it is exact. We know the risk. We can refer to the term known unknown in a way. And uh, it's based on statistical probability. There is frequency in the nature and uh, it can be uh, statistically measured and even we can ensure against that because uh, we have the statistics of, for example, uh, fire burning our house down and so on. So uh, the insurance companies can uh, ensure these kinds of uh, risks. Whereas the uncertainty is a kind of an estimate or it is a judgment. So it doesn't have a, a valid basis for classifying instances and it cannot be insured against. It is our uh, understanding or lack of understanding what might happen. So here we might refer to the word, word uh, unknown unknown if we like. We also can use these concepts of first order and second order uncertainty. The first order uncertainty uh, refers to situation where you know the outcomes in advance, even if the outcome is uh, stochastic. And the second order uncertainty, you don't know the probabilities or not necessarily even the outcomes. So uh, this comes to these uh, uh, concepts also in the previous slides. And in statistics, the first order uncertainty refers to vari variability in the data. Uh, and the second order uncertainty refers uh, to kind of a standard error or estimate error, uh, which uh, uh, cannot uh, be necessarily known depending on who uh, the estimator is or how, how the estimate uh, is done if it's not done previously. Now, uh, if we look at the second order uncertainty, we can have a kind of a continuum here, where at uh, this uh, upper axis uh, that refers to Vercelli, 1998, so uh, we can talk uh, continuum from certainty to complete ignorance. So we are knowing, uh, we are talking about known unknown and unknown unknown. And also Knight 1921, uh, they are talking about risk, which is kind of an objective probability. We can measure the frequencies from a priori data, statistical uh, methods. And then uh, on the other side of the continuum, there is uncertainty, which is the subjective probability, which is estimate. And uh, there is some ambiguity and fuzziness and uh, uh, really, uh, it depends on how much the estimator even knows or doesn't know. Then this picture wants to illustrate the fact that people are not necessarily very consistent decision makers Base, basing their uh, decisions on uh, uh, really uh, solid reasoning. Uh, but there might be biases, a lot of biases, uh, depending on how things are provided, uh, the initial data is provided to the uh, person and uh, how it's communicated. 
For example, this uh, question that imagine that a rare disease is breaking out in some community and uh, is expected to kill 600 people. There are two different programs, A and B, to make decision on that are available to deal with the problem. Program A, 200 people will be saved and in program B, one third, one, one, uh, 30 percent uh, probability that everyone will be saved and 66% uh, probability that no one will be saved. And if we put this in another way, uh, the new programs can also be communicated that there is a program C, 400 people out of 600 will die, which is the kind of the same uh, in fact as uh, the program A, but it is communicated in a different manner, or D, one third probability that no one will die and two third probability that everyone will die, which is kind of a say, uh, same than B. But depending on how we communicate this, it might be that a person uh, comes to uh, different conclusions about which uh, probabilities, uh, well, which, which programs to prioritize. So people's behavior is affected by emotions wrong information, own capacity to accept risk, and uh, uh, mentally people tend to avoid losses. Uh, there is a kind of a mental uh, accounting and uh, if people are really tired and or stressed then we tend to become even more risk averse. So. Um, this was a very brief kind of a theoretical uh, introduction to risk and uncertainty and issues uh, behind them. So I hope that this uh, opened some aspects in your understanding about those and uh, also uh, some more gave you some more understanding about the applicability of how to estimate risks and uncertainties or how to manage them in projects. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, looking forward to talking to you soon again. Bye.